Hi, this is Paul from paulbratby.com. I wanted to do this video vlog on my Xbrat Elgo. So I'm looking at ES. I'm looking at the 30 minute time frame with Heiken Ashi. Remember, with the Xbrat Elgo, we use Heiken Ashi on a 24 hour product like Forex and Futures. So this is a seven day period on the ES on the 30 minute Heiken Ashi time frame. I want to go through each trade and there's one trade I didn't take because of the risk to reward. So the first thing I want to point out, the importance of these linear support and resistance zones up here in yellow and then down here in yellow as well. So these are the ones we've been hanging around uh, for the last week. And I want to go through the trading opportunities with the Xbrad Algo, where my entries were, stop loss and all that sort of thing. So let's go le right on the left first. We get a six star sell just here where my cursor is now. We don't sell into support with no, with, with no re, you know, this is not enough risk to reward. We're not going to take that signal. Look how it bounces off that support. And then we get a four and a six star buy. Okay. So the stop loss for me, um, I just get a little pivot here just before the four star buy. So I want to, the four star candle close uh, rejects those highs at the same as re the rejection there so that three six uh, seven nine fifty is going to be my long entry I'm going to take the four star this is a 30 minute time frame if I can I will take four or five or six stars but the lower means you know it's not as high a probability but with a higher time frame you it progresses a lot easier other than like a three minute or whatever so a 30 minute time frame four star just means you're getting in the trade earlier stop loss just below this little pivot here um before the four star and then we get in and the measure my risk reward so my entry is here my stop loss is here my risk reward to the next resistance zone is one to 1.7 or something like that so it's through my minimum 1 to 1.6 so the trade is gone and it goes well we hit resistance then we get short orders we get a four five and a six star buy but again on the higher time frames like the 30 and the 60 minute I'm more inclined to take those four star signals or the five star before the six because they're early in earlier into the trade again so the short entries here this is the four star candle where my cursor is this is the rejection of those lows so i just want to go short below the low of that candle that four star signal candle stop loss just above this little pivot here um, and then we have we measure the risk to reward it's one to 1.6 or you know into that support zone so my risk to reward is good clear air let's move along the next day we didn't get a signal so you don't trade don't look for trade if it's not there let's move to day four we do come through this support we get this low where my cursor is here we come to test this previous support now acting as resistance come down but we get a higher support than this pivot here this is encouraging then we get the four star buy the five star and the six star buy now for me again I'm looking for those four stars I'm looking to go above this pivot this pivot was rejected here okay and it came back down so any entry above there if I've got an expert I'll go four or five star buy I'm gonna take risk to reward on this uh, reasonably aggressive entry is one to two to that previous resistance zone that was just tested earlier on in the week so again great risk to reward I could go a little bit more conservative breaking out of this uh, support resistance zone that would have given me a risk reward of one to 1.6 still a good trade okay now the next day we don't take this short signal we only get a six star sell and we don't sell into support okay <coughs> so my stop would have to be up here my entry here and we're going straight into support so by framing that those charts with those support and resistance zones that tells you not to trade and then the next day we see overnight we get a nice uh, support it just goes below that support zone but then we start coming through again we get a five star buy here 
okay so again i want to go above the high of this five star buy candle i want to go aggressive remember on this higher time frame and we go uh, long here risk to reward stop just below this pivot the long just above that uh, five star candle and we're over one to two to the next support and resistance zone and this is a good looking trade and it just keeps going uh, we get three and four star sell signals here but again we're not going to go low i'll draw i'll copy one of those lines and i'll paste it in here so we got this pivot here if we get a three and a four star sell that's great but we want to go low below here it never did it it just continued and this is where we are right now live this trade here on the 30 minute started on this on this day here second day of the trade third day of the trade okay so really really strong looking trade so you're not always going to get a strong trade so if we go back to to this long here it reached around about 150 percent profit times risk and you would trial that with one of my EMA clouds or something like that. So that wasn't a massive trade. The short trade was good. The previous long trade was okay. Um, but you just got to keep looking for those runners and accumulating those wins and not entering the trade when you get this sort of situation selling into support or buying into resistance. And then just keep following the same path. Yes, it's tested this support. We got the the five star sell, uh, five star buy here, sorry, got a great risk reward, go, and it just keeps going and going and going. Now it's pushed through that resistance zone. Uh, so once we get a candle close above this resistance zone, you can go really aggressive with a trading stop just below it. Hopefully that helps. A little bit different today. I've been using a lot smaller time frames, but just wanted to show you a week in the life of the expert algo on a 30 minute time frame. Um, on ES S&P e-mini futures.